Mr. Rinder is trying to make me a rich man by providing endless amounts of content with his insanities, but there is something very serious at work, and I don't want to lose focus on the big picture of, frankly, this very evasive and very long post, but I will try to be fair. I can't deal with every issue brought up because that would take quite literally like a thousand years. He piled quite a lot in the statement. But at the basic level, did he really say anything? Probably the only one part that's substantively interesting is he did admit to the fair gaming. He didn't get into any details, but he did admit, yes, I did fair gaming. Oh, I did that, and uh, I'm ashamed. Uh, he also said something about to the FBI, but again, no details. What information? About what? About who? Who was this agent? Why has nothing really happened? Why have there been no criminal cases? So he basically just tried to keep framing it about the recent controversy regarding Rabbit, regarding Aaron, the Aftermath Foundation, and the Aftermath TV show, so on and so forth. That is about it. But in terms of the real substance of him being the head of OSA, and I want people to really try to really understand what OSA was. OSA is really just the really dark part of the CIA, basically operating full time. And I have nothing really good to say about the CIA, but the CIA does actually do some real research. At least parts of it do actually analyze things, and it even funds, quote, legitimate research. Not defending the CIA, but parts of it actually just do analysis. OSA doesn't do that. Yes, it technically gathers intelligence. It does do very, very sinister things. I've covered that recently. I will cover more. But being very brief, it is not an exaggeration. You could really charge Rinder and Osa with genocide if we consider ex-Scientologists or anti-Scientologists legitimately as a subgroup. Then you could say that's what Osa was devoted to. The nicest is containing, but really in some cases, uh, and again, it's YouTube, I have to say allegedly, but really extermination campaign, allegedly. And these are not small people. Some of these are very prominent people, nor are these, quote, even all adults. Technically, in the case of Kyle, he was a very, very young man. So this is a really, really brutal organization. He was a major architect of these atrocities. We're not talking about being mean on Twitter or sending someone a nasty email. We're talking, frankly, heading up a genocidal campaign. That's really what he was a part of for decades. So he avoided all that and just concentrated on basically a jab at Rabbit, some snark at Aaron, and a few other things. But again, really didn't answer the charge, which is, as the head of OSA, how is it possible you don't know these things or don't know so much, even when the victims have spoken out? Jerry, Robert, and quite a few others have made clear no, we find you guilty. We know, we know for a fact you were intimidating, hurting us, doing black propaganda, monitoring, and that's the nice part. There are cases where people can't speak up because they've been, well, nicest. Again, YouTube, I have to say this, they disappeared under very mysterious circumstances or people died mysteriously. With those very, very difficult cases, he isn't saying anything, or is just evasive saying, I told the FBI everything I knew. I spoke to the FBI's. Even though we know that OSA has very, very compromising ties to the FBI. Not really saying anything. A very long blog post, I'd say on the Mark Headley scale, which was also pretty stupid. It was a little less stupid than that because the Mark Headley statement really is like zero value. There's like almost nothing of value in that long moronic statement. This one had a little bit more truth value. Maybe 5% was actually factually interesting, but most of it was just his usual media tricks and cartwheeling and smiling for the camera and acting like he's the victim, even though his other victims can't speak for themselves because, well... They're in graveyards. Found out later on that both of those were lies that the police told us. 
Um, there had been a GSR, a gunshot residue test, done on Kyle's hands, but the detective in charge of the investigation stopped that from being processed. So that test was actually done, but not processed. And I think since that time now, that GSR test has been lost in Clearwater, Florida, uh, conveniently. What do we 